Is that an elephant? <coughs> Bunny. So as you can see, we had an awesome time at the pumpkin patch yesterday. Um, it was super busy because it was a really nice day. It was like 68 and sunny. And so there were lots of people there and we've never been to this specific pumpkin patch before, um, but it was huge and honestly like way overwhelming. Yeah, there was a million things that kids could do. Um, you just paid like $7 to get in and then you could like do all the activities. They had a corn maze, they had a slingshot, they had a hayride, they had, I mean, everything you could think of, they had like over 30 activities. So it was just overwhelming. Um, but we did go get and pick pumpkins and we found some good ones and their pumpkins were actually pretty cheap. So the price was good. Um, there were tons of burrs on all the um, vines around the pumpkin patch. So all of us got stuck with burrs. So that kind of stunk, but it was okay. Um, my brother and my sister came in town and they came to the pumpkin patch which was with us, which was really fun. And we were all able to find pumpkins and then we're gonna carve them in a couple weeks once it gets closer to um, Halloween. Gray was in pumpkin heaven. He loved going and seeing all the pumpkins. He's obsessed with pumpkins now. So he was just having a really fun time. And yeah, it was really great. And then after that, we met up with my parents for dinner and I just got a quick clip of everybody eating. Or well, it was before we had our food. But the burgers are really good. We went to a place called the Rusty Bucket and the burger was really good. It had like beer cheese and onion rings on it. It was really good. So yeah, we had a great time. And I didn't film the rest of the day because I was exhausted from the pumpkin patch. But it's the next day. Gray and I are just hanging out, doing laundry. We had a whole drama about our um, heat. So as you know, we got a new AC and a new furnace unit this summer because we converted from electric to gas. Well, when we went to go turn on our furnace for the first time, it wasn't turning on and we weren't having heat and we were freezing in our house. So finally I had somebody come out and look at our furnace because I thought for sure the gas wasn't hooked up right. No, it turns out that we just needed to switch a button from off to on on our furnace. So thankfully we do have heat now. It feels so much better in here, which is good because it's been getting down to like 30s at night. It's very cold. Um, it's only like a high of 60 here today. So we're very happy we have our heat back on and it's so like the uh, unit is brand new. So it just heats up so much faster and it feels so much better. So we're really happy we got that finished. I just wanna let you guys know how it was. We had a great time at the pumpkin patch. I'm glad we got that, you know, check off our fall list of things to do. And we've got a ton of things coming up with Gray's Halloween costume. So I'm excited for it. What are you doing? Dada. Grayson is creating a shoe shrine <laughs> on our staircase. He's grabbing all the shoes from our front hall closet and putting them on all the steps. In other news, we have truck and worker Armageddon here. There's about a million, okay, it's hard to see, hang on. There's about a million trucks parked outside my house and they're gonna turn off, they're gonna turn off the, the electricity to my house and like my whole street and a couple other streets in the neighborhood from 9 a.m. today until 3 p.m. today. What the heck? It's freezing outside, I'm not gonna have heat. I'm not gonna be able to like do any electronics. I'm like, what the heck? Like, this is terrible. We're going to Toledo later this week, and I wish they would do it on one of the days that we were gone, but no, it's today while we're here. So we're gonna go to the library and get out of the house for a little bit. We might go to the store. I need to pick up some um, things, but it's gonna be cold in here because they're gonna turn off the heat from nine to three. That's a long time. Oh, I'm so annoyed about it. And I don't know if you could tell, I don't want to like look suspicious because they're all like right outside my house. 
But they're all the cars are right outside my house. How am I supposed to get out of my driveway? They're like all right outside. I don't know, but we're getting out because they're gonna have to make room for us. So hope they can move or something because we need to get out. So yeah, that's our great day today is we have no power. Ah! <laughs> well, we do right now, but <clears throat> we won't in like 10 minutes, but I'm charging everything I can right now. My biggest um, wonder is Grayson's, I have Grayson's sound machine that he uses when he goes to sleep and we're not gonna have power, so I'm not gonna be able to use the sound machine. So either I have a sound machine app on my iPad that I could turn on, so either I do that, Grayson's laughing because Felix is in the car. I think that's pretty funny. So anyway, either I use my sound machine app on my iPad or I just don't do a sound machine at all and have him just sleep without any noise. And I don't know how that'll go. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, so I had to park my car in the driveway. Hang on, it's hard to see, there. I parked my car in the driveway because I'm not going to be able to use the garage to open and close it because they're going to turn my power off and we need to go a couple places today. So, also in other news and weather news, it's 30 something degrees right now and by the afternoon it's going to be 73 degrees. So it's going to change 40 degrees today. Yeah, that's great. Like... Uh, it's so annoying that the weather is like winter in the morning, fall in the middle of the day, summer, <laughs> no, <laughs> summer in the afternoon, and then fall again. Yeah, do you see the workers? They're going to turn off our power. I know, how rude. Yeah, do you see our pumpkins? Anthony put our pumpkins out front. We gotta carve them. No, we're not going outside. It's cold. It's it's 39 degrees right now. It's freezing. We're not going outside. So yeah, we're about to lose power in nine minutes. And I'm just chronicling this. And yeah, we might have to get out of the house because Gray's already going stir crazy. So we're gonna go to story time. I don't know if I said that before, but story time doesn't start till 10 and it's not even nine yet, so. Eek. Look at all of these people in my backyard. And they're all playing with this electric pole that's in the back corner of my yard. Power's off. It just shut off, so we're out of here, but who knows what they're doing, but there's there's about a million people out there and in front. I hope we can get out of the driveway. We'll see if we survive. I don't know. There's my car. There's this big truck. I'm going to have to like scoot over in the, in the driveway and then I think I'm going to have to head out that way, which I usually head out that way. <laughs> so these are our three pumpkins that we picked out from the pumpkin pile. This is my pumpkin, Anthony's pumpkin, and Grayson's pumpkin. Grayson is very into them. Yeah, that's Daddy's pumpkin, that's right. That's Grayson's pumpkin. And Mama's pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Mama pumpkin. Baby pumpkin. Yep, and there's our scarecrow and our other pumpkin. Still not sure what I want Grayson to do with his pumpkin. I don't know if I want him to paint it, or if I'm going to carve it for him. Or, I know they sell like stickers you can put on pumpkins, so I'm just not quite sure what I want to do with it. We'll figure it out. Daddy pumpkin. Anthony and I, of course, will carve. Baby pumpkin. That's Mama's pumpkin. And still trucks outside our house and still no power. Although it's only been about an hour. So we 
we got this we got this pumpkin that my mom gave us and gray is obsessed with it it just lights up but it doesn't light up right now because we have no power but anyway gray is obsessed with it anything halloween anything pumpkin he loves so we're having lunch right now felix loves lunch too you see felix no, no, no. <laughs> and the people are still out in our yard. Well, here's all their stuff. They've got this huge pipe. I don't know what they're doing with that. But still no power. <laughs> Do a somersault. Can you kick it over? Push over. Gymnastics class is actually paying off. Do it again. Can you do it again? Whoa. Yay! Good job. He's doing this all on his own. And he's got a fistful of teddy bear crackers. Can you do it again? Can you do it again? Aw, you tired. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I just realized that I never really ended the vlog or kind of gave an update as to what happened when the workers were at our house. So um, we were able to get out of the driveway. I was so freaked out that I wasn't going to be able to get out because they were blocking the road um, right up to my driveway. But we were able to get out just fine. I had no trouble. And um, when we came back, they were where they were. Um, our power actually was off from like 10 to 3 maybe, um, 10 to 2. It wasn't as long as they were saying it was going to be, but it was still pretty long. I mean, it was just annoying because I ended up just putting Grayson down with no sound machine at all because I realized that my, um, my sound machine app on my iPad wasn't like downloaded right or something so it wasn't working and I didn't have any other way to put the sound machine on so I just put him down and hoped that he would be okay with it and he slept just fine even though the workers were so noisy when he took his nap they were like yelling at each other and they were making all sorts of nice noises drilling cutting doing whatever it was that they did so thankfully he did take a good nap um, and then they were able to do whatever they needed to do and then they left um, there's now like a big pole up next to our other pole, um, so hopefully that means that we won't have as many power outages. I think kind of what prompted this whole thing to start is um, we kept having power outages, like I'd say at least once a month we would have a power outage, and it always seemed to happen at the same time. It would be like in the evening, like on a Friday, <laughs> and it was super annoying because before moving to this house, I had never had this many power outages. I mean, sure, I've experienced them in the past. Who hasn't? But this was so such a regular occurrence, it was really frustrating. So hopefully whatever they did worked and we, were, we won't have as many power outages anymore. I'm not quite sure. Um, hopefully they won't ever have to do this again because the whole cutting off the power for, you know, a whole day was just super frustrating, especially when you have a... 18 month old. So I just wanted to give an update. We survived the day. I was able to get in and out of my driveway. They, the workers did what they needed to do and then they turned our power back on and all was well. So I just wanted to give that update to you guys and didn't want to leave you hanging. So um, give our video a, a thumbs up, like our channel, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.